Uh, my name is Nora, Nora Muendo, a girl from Makueni. That's what I, I call myself, a girl from Makueni, dreaming big. I'm a mother to four children, I'm a wife, and I'm an entrepreneur. Nila is a, I would say Nila is a, uh, it's a Nila baby shop, as, as you call it, as you can see it here, it's Nila baby shop. And Nila baby shop is a business that I started in um, 2018, 2018. Um, the name Nila, Nila baby shop, Nila is my daughter. So it was so easy to name my business. So Nila is named after my firstborn daughter. There are four children, two adopted and two biological, but Nila is my firstborn daughter. So I named the shop after her. And the reason why it came as Nila is uh, when I was shopping for her, trust you me in Utawala, or most likely even in the country, you wouldn't get a place where you'd get everything that I wanted for during my pregnancy. Yani I had to move all the way from here to Kamukunji. You can know how a pregnant woman walking all the way from, you know, Utawala, Kwenda all the way to Kamukunji, Isili, it was tedious. So I couldn't get a place where I would, you know, shop for everything that I wanted. Okay, I had the dream in 2017, but you see maternity, I, I delivered the Nila now in uh, August. 2017 so you know it, it take time to to you know to to, to think about something because you are unable to you know do much of the things so in Hali Hali 2018 uh, my husband extremely supportive extremely I would say extremely supportive gave me 14,000 and then the 14,000 I went to I went with it in Gikomba and then uh, you see that time 14,000 was some good money I would say because I went to Gikomba and got my first talk but as mothers, all the stock was consumed by my daughter. <laughs> so there was no stock, as in I didn't make much out of the 14,000. So I kind of gave up. But then uh, as the great supportive money he is, my husband, gave me another money. He didn't give up on me. That, that's something I'm forever grateful for. He didn't give up on me. So he gave me another, uh, some other money that wasn't much, but at least it could sustain me. So I got like, uh, I'd say, uh, 100 to 200,000 they gave me. So I was uh, stupid, the first mistake I made. I was stupid, so I, w I was in a rush, this is a lot of money. So I went with it in um, in Gikomba, and just before I went to Gikomba, now Nikakuja could after shop. I was looking for a shop. So this, the first, the, the first 14,000 that I got, I was hawking. So I was in the Utawala, Benedicta, and I was in the supermarket now called Quick Mart. That's what happened when I was in the Zonguo. But they didn't bring much because the beautiful ones I was taking for my, to my daughter. So it was cancelling. There was no profit, there was no nothing. So I was walking them around there. So the time I opened, uh, the time I got the 200,000, I, I went to look for a shop. I was very stupid, I, found, I made the first mistake. Nilienda in Katafta shop and it had a goodwill. How much was the goodwill? 95,000. And it was a very small stall. So you can imagine 95,000 is already gone. So I have around 105. So this 105 same matter is the transaction cost. So I have 100. So the 100 you have to make the shop. The shop that has a goodwill, imagine it didn't have a tile. So I have to tile. The tile took me around 10 to 15,000. So by the time I'm finishing making the shop, I have less than 20,000 for stock. Another mistake. So what I did is uh, I went, um, did little stock for that, and decided I am going now to Fanya Juchini. So when I came back and told my husband the mistakes that I had made, uh, big up to him, he is the person who introduced me to social media. He is the person who introduced me. I, di I didn't have a knowledge much about you know social media, Instagram, Facebook. I didn't have that knowledge. So he's the one who, who opened our page. Actually, if you check the history of our Instagram page, imagine he converted his personal account to business account. He was supporting me virtually. He wasn't at home that time. He was away because of work. So we opened the, the that was my first shop. It was a store. Zile Zikondani, it was a stall inside. It was really small, really small. I think it was the size of here to there. It was very small. Uh, um, we stayed there in, in Hagast. He had, uh, he had opened the pages and um, the pages were up and running, but not very active. So I also took up the, the, the challenge not to let him down and uh, opened, um, started posting in mother's groups. Or Mama Wakona Mimba, we usually have those groups, Facebook and WhatsApp. So I joined those groups and market and for sure I would get good clients. So Ikanza Vizuri, Vizuri in Hagas, we got our page, it was running, it wasn't selling much. Uh, you know, everything needs patience. It, was, it wasn't selling much. But when I combined it with, uh, you know, Izo WhatsApp groups, the Facebook groups for pregnant moms, it was doing okay. 
So that is uh, 2018. So in 2018, around uh, November, December, business was doing excellent. I would say it was doing excellent. I was able to stock very well. I was able, you know, I was able to uh, do deliveries to customers. And at that time, I didn't even have a motorbike for deliveries. So it was me who was carrying the clothes. I pack in, you know, the big Nigerian bags. I used to pack in those big Nigerian bags and walk from, I would carry like a hundred sweaters, a hundred rompers, a hundred onesies. So I take to those uh, mothers, they shop from their home. That was my turning point. So they would shop from there. So a mother would shop 3,000, 5,000. You know, when you come back home, maybe you have, you know, uh, a few thousands there to, to get stock the following day because I was not able to stock the way I'm stocked now. So I, I, I would stock kidogo kidogo, you know, to, to run me the day. So it went so, so well. So well that in the 2019 January, business was nice, extremely nice. Uh, in uh, in Feb, business was really nice as well. But then came March 2019, I got pregnant for my second born. So when I got pregnant for my second born, uh, as, as fate would have it, I was put on complete bed rest. So I had to completely close my business. So imagine from a business that was starting to pick up, now to nothing. So the pregnancy was so complicated, I had to use, you know, stay on bed rest up to around August. So all the way from March to August, and God did marvelous. You know, in August, I didn't know how I recovered. I was given a, a clean bill of health. I was given a clean bill of health. So in August, I resumed business. But now resume, so you have rent arrears for five months. That is around 75,000. Uh, then, the, the, of course, there are, there's no stock stock. Yeah, mtumba ikika, like those three months, it has a acre. That time I was dealing with purely, purely, purely mtumba. So, in, um, after coming back, I told, I, th I remember I made a promise with God. God, you've healed me at this time. Let these three months before I deliver my daughter, let me receive your grace. And let me tell you, God is faithful. So, I come back in 2018. August, I'm back. So, August... I, I, have you ever seen business speak and you're surprised? So in, in August business aspect, of course I am very pregnant. That time I'm, I'm, I'm six months pregnant. I'm very pregnant, but hamebu kuzungusha izongo. I used to kuzungusha izongo nikiwa pregnant. Nge amuka asubui, nikona list ya out, seme wa mama watatu. So I'll carry those uh, two Nigerian bags. Imagine a pregnant mother, six months, carrying those two Nigerian bags nikitebea nazo. So I would uh, work with those two Nigerian bags, na pelekea wa mama. I do maybe to seme three to four deliveries in a day and they do well they were mama they, they are mothers who are very generous by the way by the fact that i am pregnant i would get a lot of sympathy shopping a lot of sympathy shopping they would shop really well so that time business picked and uh i was i was i was skeptical about employing anyone but you know my husband told me ah you know you can't fear all the time and because business is picking up i get the first employee I was adamant, but I had to do it. So I got the first employee, is Maureen, and she's still working with me up to date. In 2019, that's the, that's the time I got the first employee, that was Maureen. And uh, Maureen, you know, came in hand. I explained to her how we do it, the business it afanywa, I would, you know, do the, the delivery. It's uh, not vizuri. Thank you, Maureen, for that. I sincerely appreciate. So we worked with Maureen until um, 21st when I went to deliver. Imagine I went to deliver uh in the hospital but that morning i went to make deliveries first in and then i uh, went to the hospital to deliver that's how crazy it was because i didn't want to go back where i had started uh, where i had closed down so nika and uh, nika deliver nili deliver your delivery na kumbuka nilifanya ruaka then i moved from ruaka to where i was going to deliver so i went delivered my child so when i delivered my child that was 21st november i go back home so actually this uh i i, I nearly delivered through CS, so it was a uh, three days in the hospital. So the fourth day when I'm coming home, I get a letter. I get a letter from my then landlord for the shop that, you know, they are unable to sustain me that time. So I closed down the shop. So when I closed down the shop, uh, I told Maureen we are going to do it from home. So Maureen would come in the morning, you know, carry the clothes and we, and we, uh, and we a customer. So we would, we would get a, you know, because our online was now picking up, Atunge afford could disappoint. So Maureen would, Today go and buy stock, and then the following day makes the deliveries. And then that time, you know, uh, also my husband was on maternity uh, paternity leave, so that time he would just, you know, assist with, um, with the with the with the deliveries. Very supportive, and I'm forever thankful for that. So I came back to the market again, uh, and on 4th January 2020, uh, I I officially got my second shop. 
my second shop that was uh, still small, but you know, I wanted a shop because you see when it's online, not everyone will believe you. So when they know you have a shop, even if they are shopping online, they'll have the confidence that, you know, this person can deliver. So when you already have the shop, you know, it is, uh, it is good for, even when you're doing online, the shop gives the customers the, you know, the trust that they need, the confidence that they need. So I get the first shop and then we go, we come uh, back on 4th, I'll never forget, 4th January, I just opened the shop like, I just opened the shop and then customers come. That was a miracle. That was the first miracle I saw. Fourth, fourth January 2020, I'll never forget. So customers come. Yes, I've left a small child who is just a one month old. But you know, there are times when you get to, uh, to life and then the motherly instincts, you know, they, they are more, yes, but you see, motherly instincts. They'll not sit down and you say, now because I am your mother, let me serve your motherly instincts. No. So I said I have to hit the road again for the sake of my children. So for the for, uh, 4th January 2020 was a good day for me and from there God has been good. You can never satisfy everybody. Everyone has their own expectations. I would say 99% of our customers, we have met their expectation. And you can go and check out our reviews on Instagram and Facebook, and you know, even in the WhatsApp group, 99% of our customers are, are satisfied. But the 1% that is not satisfied, we have a way of dealing with them. One, we have a very friendly exchange program. Like if, you, if you, we sell you a sweater and you don't like, like it, we'll refund. we just refund. You know, we will not tell you, keep liking it and you don't like it. So our refund policy is there. If, if you don't like our product, just return, we refund. We don't do, we don't try to prove a point. Because you see, you can't, uh, you can't dissatisfy a customer and ex expect them to come back. So maybe the next time they will buy because you gave them, you know, the refund and any, any. So we, we try our best to keep quality. Like you can see even when you pass around, you'll see, you know, our, our products are extremely good. Even if it's Mutumba, we have the cleanest, the cleanest, the cleanest. Actually, what we sell most is the Mutumba. It is stands for us. You know, our branches, both Nairobi, Mombasa and Edoret, it stands out. So I would say, Customers' dissatisfaction happens once in a while, but we try to avoid that by stocking quality, by giving the right prices, and ensure we give the right sizes to customers. Don't make a business, I meant my business so dependent on me, such that when I got pregnant, the business couldn't run. So if you can, make a business that is not dependent, dependent on you. A business that can run with, you know, this life we live is very unpredictable. You might be sick tomorrow, you know. So try to make business undependable on you by empowering the people around you that they may be able to run it. So my first challenge was, uh, you know, having uh, those, those, those instances that are unfortunate, you are, you are unable to ensure the business runs. The other thing is uh, finances. Finances are a big challenge in, uh, in, in when you are running a business. But uh, I, I, I'm so happy that I have people around me who would sort me. I remember I have a friend, I'll mention her because she doesn't want, but you know, I have a friend who is called uh, Priska Chems, she's a Pokot Baker. You know, I'll tell her when I'm going to Gikomba, please give me 40,000 and I'll refund it tomorrow. Because I know if I buy the stock for 40,000, maybe I'll be able to sell at, uh, you know, 45,000 as profit. So I'll be able to return her, her money. And you know, my friends have come through for me. I would say I've not picked a bank loan to run this business. My friends have come through in so many ways. I'll tell a friend by the way, Leos, Jalipa Rent Yaduka, please loan me and you know. So finances is a challenge to everybody of course, but to me it was a big challenge, but I am forever thankful that, you know, my husband, my friends have come through for me in crazy ways. So the two challenges is, you know, business being too dependent on me and finances. Uh, what motivates you, what motivates me is, uh, but the fact that when mothers shop, they are very excited about Mila. They are, ex and it, it's not the money. Let me tell you, it's not the money. But the satisfaction that I see mothers get from Nila is what motivates me every day. I see them saying, oh, I came, I was served really well. Oh, I came, everything was fine. I came, I got a good quality. But the fact that, you know, I am able to, to, to satisfy mothers out there, that stands out for me. And also, you know, by the fact that we have been able, have been able to create employment to 40 Kenyans, that motivates me. Trust you, Mimi, I, I might make zero, but when they have gone home, they have food, they have, they have shelter, and the, the people who depend on them are satisfied. That is what motivates me, that my employees are fine, and you know, uh, mothers are satisfied.
my customers and my employees motivates me every day. And of course, you know, have to get motivation from my children. Anyone who is interested to start a baby shop there, out there, uh, it, it's a good business, I would say, because this is my full-time employment. This is where I am every morning. But what advice I would give every, anyone want, wanting to start there is first, do market research. Don't start from the blues. Because you see, you, uh, you have to identify, to identify the market gap. What is the market gap? Because you see, sometimes you open businesses because you have seen other people open. Uh, I am seeing so and so driving here, I need to do it there. But do market research, one. Two, ensure you know your clientele. Who do you want to serve? Because you can never open a business and serve everyone. You can never open a business and serve everyone. That's why we have high end, middle and low. So identify your clientele. Who do you want to serve? Do you want to serve the low, the, 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 low, the, the, low, the average, am I the high? Because you see, like if uh, I take my business, let's say to the high end estates, there are people who don't do Mtumba. There are people who don't do Mtumba. And that is them, you know, and that is them. So for me, I've targeted the middle people and the, you know, the middle and the below. Because when the target market is right, you'll be able to get a customer. Let me tell you, your product is always expensive to someone and always cheap to someone. It depends with who are you targeting. So identify who is your target market. If your target market is, uh, you know, the, 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 the high end, you know, get those things that deserve on the high end. If it is the middle, get what deserves there. And if it's the low, get what deserves low. You know, you'll be able to know your market, your market niche, who is your target client. The other thing is, and the most important thing, pray. Pray. Me, I understand the power of prayer. You see, so many business, so many people are closing their businesses because maybe only people can say, ah, wachana na yo, you know, pagan sama, those people don't believe in God. But you know, it is not the hard work. It is not the hard work. Everyone out here works hard. Everyone out here works hard. But when you just do the hard work and do it with a lot of prayers, you'll be surprised how many things God can do. Mimi, I am a product of God's, great, God's faithfulness. The number of times I have fallen down, nothing would ever lift me up. But God has been there. You know, sometimes I see so many challenges. I have seen people, uh, I feel bad that I wake up every morning, every morning because my, my pages are, you know, a little bit uh, congested. And you see someone saying, I want to sell my baby shop. I want to sell. I want to sell. And I feel extremely bad. Because, you know, this is a person we are in the same business. Of course, there are times you make loss and there are times you make profit. But imagine it's closing down. So I feel bad that, you know, people have to, to, to go through that. But pray, pray. Possess those customers. Possess them in the name of Jesus Christ. And be a mungu, I have opened this shop and I have opened it to customers. I have not opened it for me. I have opened it for customers. I bring them from south, bring them from north, east and west. So God is very faithful. He will, bring, he will exactly bring that. So anyone who is willing to support, to come this business, but they are always open. If you need to start such a business, I am so happy I have helped so many people start and they are doing well. Majority of them are doing well. Come, we'll be able to talk. I think you'll see my numbers on our, on, on, on our pages. I'll assist where I can, but you know, it needs a lot of prayers and a lot of hard work. And then, what I would tell someone who wants to run this baby shop, um, a, a kind of a business and then they are running it, your greatest asset, your greatest asset in this business are two. Your greatest asset is one, employees, and two, your customers. That's the greatest asset. You know, you can have all this talk, but it stays there until it, you know, it in a baka in a pata vumbi ama nini nini nini. So your two greatest assets in any business, employees and customers. Okay, Nila stands out. Nila Baby Shop stands out. You know, there are four reasons why Nila Baby Shop stands out. One is that we offer the best customer service. The best customer service. And two, we offer the most affordable, most affordable baby items. And the best is we offer all of them under one roof. Ukingia too heavy when you go to hospital. As in, when you get to Nila Baby Shop, you just go... To mata unanda tukuza, you just go for delivery because you'll get everything. I mean everything. Start from basins, start from clothes, starting from maternity, you'll get everything. I mean totally everything under one roof. And the other thing that we stand out is because we have tried to reach everyone in our country and in East Africa. I'm so happy that we are doing it in East Africa, but then Rwanda, uh, Uganda and Tanzania are our greatest clients in East Africa. We do so many deliveries to those countries and we're able to reach everyone because we do deliveries everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Talk of everywhere. We do them to Moyale, we do them to Lamu, we do our deliveries everywhere. And we, ha we are able to reach our people 
physically those who can visit our shops and then those who don't want to visit our shops or they are unable we are able to deliver and if you imagine our delivery fee the highest we charge is 300 the highest the farthest the farthest you are is 300 imagine uko hapa na uko kampani uko kitui we are going to deliver with only 200 imagine kitui Yes, and then you see those who in Nairobi, Mombasa, and uh, Doret, you are able to get delivery and pay after you are satisfied. After you get your product, you are certain you sour, you pay. So we are we stand out because we offer quality, affordability, and convenience when shopping. You shop for everything at affordable prices, you know, and we are able to bring it to your to your area, to your doorstop. Uh, what I would say is, um, Nila Baby Shop. Is a one-stop baby shop for everything that you want, both maternity essentials and newborn essentials, all under one roof. We have both the basics. Imagine our prices range from 100 shillings. 100 shillings, imagine, from 100 shillings. So you are able to get everything that you want. We are very affordable, that is it, and we maintain the best quality. We maintain the best quality. I'm sure you can come, confirm on the quality on our shops because we maintain the best quality. So come to Nila Baby Shop, be able to get the best for yourself and the best for your child. And you know, make it, we are here to make it easy for you to shop. Nila Baby Shop is your choice, and then to all my baby shop's partners and then to everyone who is willing to start our baby shop, the energy that you give your employees is the same energy that they'll give your customers. Ensure you give the best, best customer service. Here at Nila, you'll experience the best customer service. Come get a bottle of water, you know, have a soda. You are served at the comfort of your seat. Mkiangalia, we have so many seats around. So our customers are served while seated. So we are your choice of baby shop. We are able to give you everything that you need for your baby, both new and tumba, the best quality, affordability and convenience uh, how do you reach us we have three branches uh, we have Nairobi this one is a Nairobi branch uh, we are in Utawala right opposite AP and Kipita Kwa Main Road we are very huge you will you be able to see us that is Nairobi and then we have a uh, Edoret Edoret is our Edoret is our third bond Edoret we are in town and Mombasa we are also in town Mombasa is our second bond the first branch is uh, Nairobi then uh, Mombasa and Edoret those are our three branches so you are able to reach us on that and we are on Instagram at Nila Baby Shop we are on TikTok at Nila Baby Shop we are on Facebook at uh, Nila Baby Shop, and if you want to push your business, social media is the deal right now. Social media is selling. You see, even if a customer will come and visit, they will have seen you on social media and they want to come physically. So if you have not tried social media, try it and it is doing so well. So uh, Nila Baby Shop is your choice for Baby Shop because we are going to offer you everything that you need at the most affordable price, at, the, at your convenience, and you know, at uh, the best, best quality you can have for your baby.